this is the weathering and deposition demonstration. So first you're going to get your sand and you can put it in a 9 by 13 pan or one of these disposable ones. Then you're going to want to find a thin hose like you're seeing on the screen now. Attach it to a water bottle. I used electrical tape but whatever you can get that will hold water, maybe duct tape or whatever you have on hand. You're going to fill your water bottle up and then you're going to start to pour it into the sand. Now you're going to hold it in one spot while you do this and just let the water fall as it may. At first the sand is going to absorb the water. That's perfectly normal and to be expected, but just let the kids make their observations as they come. It's going to take a while before you get enough water poured for it to really start doing anything, so just be patient because as I said, it'll start to come as the sand absorbs enough water and starts to let it spill over the surface. Now eventually the sand becomes saturated enough that it'll start to peel, spill over the surface and when this happens it's going to start to create tracks. At this point have the kids start telling you out loud what they're noticing because they'll be able to start noticing weathering happen as it creates a divot where the water goes and they'll be able to start noticing erosion happen as the sand gets carried downstream. And at the bottom, as you pour more water, it starts to form a delta sometimes, or at the very least, the sand will be deposited down in the little lake, river, creek, ocean, whatever you want to call the water at the bottom of the pan. Sometimes you'll need to stop and let the air back into your water bottle because it'll stop pouring, but just do what you need to do to get the rest of the water poured down into the tray. Once you get all of the water poured out of your water bottle, take a moment and if the kids haven't already pointed out the weathering, erosion, and deposition, ask them to show you examples of each of those things in the sand and in the water in the tray. As you can see here, there's a great example of deposition down there and where the erosion created grooves in the sand.